kind of metaphysical, spiritual, new agey, woo woo circles, you have probably heard the saying that the universe has your back. And if you've hung around me for any length of time, you know that I have said the same, that the universe has your back, that you should trust that the universe has your back. This past week, I heard something different, something contradictory to that statement. And I gotta tell you that it rang true for me. And that statement was that the universe doesn't have your back, not really, because it's just a reflection of you. It's just a reflection of you. So the universe has your back when you have your back. It's impartial. It just reflects you. It's like a mirror. It doesn't test you. It just reflects you. And it does that 100% of the time. So I used to talk about um, cosmic hailstones and how, you know, you would, if you're putting out negative thoughts, that they keep coming back. And they, like hailstones, they get bigger and bigger and bigger until they knock you in the head. And then you pay attention. So it's a little bit like that, that when you're thinking negative thoughts, when you're showing up in ways that aren't aligned with what you want and who you want to be, that the universe is going to bring you more of things that are aligned with that. So when we think that, um, you know, when we, if we go around thinking that the universe has our back, then what's going to happen is that we're just going to constantly be thinking that no matter what we do, if we stay the same, we keep thinking the same negative thoughts, we keep behaving in the same way, that the universe is just going to take care of us. But I do believe that um, the universe, <laughs> God, whatever you want to call it, is, is like this big yes in the sky. Okay, not really in the sky, but it's like this big yes machine. Kind of like um, that movie, what was it called, The Yes Man? Or Anyway, it's like that. And whatever you say you want or think about um, or say you don't want, the universe just responds to that. That's all. And the universe only hears part of it. It doesn't hear the, the don't want. It just hears the, the subject of that. I don't want more debt. It hears more debt and it gives you more debt. <laughs> so you, you, that's why we talk about all the time, you know, focus on what you want. I want enough money. I want more than enough money. I want to be wealthy. There's a really good phrase to say, I want to be prosperous. I want to be abundant. These are positive statements and that's what, what the universe hears. Abundance, wealth, prosperity, and that's what you get. But if you're thinking, I don't want more debt, you're going to have more debt. If you just think, I want to have enough money, you're only going to have enough money, right? So I just say money because that seems to be something that so many of us struggle with. Um, but if you think the universe is going to have your back and just suddenly have money show up, um, it might happen occasionally, but it's not going to happen consistently. So you have to ask yourself what you're putting out there that the universe is reflecting back. And all you have to do is look at your life to know, because your life is just a big mirror of what you're putting out there. So if you want to have, if you want the universe to have your back, you have to have your back. And if what that means to me is that I have to be doing the things that, that allow me to, to have what I want. So we often hear, um, well, let me just simplify. You have to show up as the person that can have the things you want to have. And you have to take action towards that. You have to be um, doing the things that, that support you having what you want. And that's you having your back. You having your back is saying, hey, there's a problem, I'm going to solve it. It's you saying, I really want X and showing up as the person who could have that and doing the things necessary to have it. That's having your back. Having your back is not um, putting your head in a hole and expecting to pull it out and have the world be different suddenly. That's just not how it works. So I want you to, to sit down this week and I want you to um, think about 
where you're expecting God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, creator, to just take care of things for you, to just handle it for you. Now, I'm not opposed to that, by the way. I'm not opposed to saying, you know, hey, universe, hey, God, hey, creator, there are these things and I would really love it if you could help line things up for me, if you could help me out. That's fine, but don't sit back waiting, okay? So again, back to the assignment. I want you to make a list of all the places in your life where you are sort of expecting something to change without you changing, without you doing something different. Where do you need to have your back? So that's the second question. So the first one is where are you waiting for the universe to handle stuff for you? And number two is where do you not have your back? Where are you not showing up the way you need to show up to create change in your life? Okay, so those are two things to journal about. And then what I want you to do once you have answered those questions is to create an action plan. How will you show up? How will you be in the world? What will you do? How are you gonna make sure you have your back? If, if your relationship is failing and you just keep focusing on how it's failing and worrying about how you'll support yourself, that's not you having your back. You having your back is saying, how do I need to change to either fix my relationship or to let go of that baggage so I can have a better relationship? And what do I have to do to take care of myself financially? How am I gonna make that happen? And believe me, that one's close to my heart. So, so yeah, so what are you doing to have your back? You can't just expect the universe to take care of you if your marriage fails. You have to do something about it. So, so how will you show up? What will you do so that you have your back? How are you gonna t make sure that you know you have your back? Answer those questions and then start taking action. Action that corresponds with that, that aligns with that. Show up every day as the person who has your back. What would that look like for you to show up every day as the person who has your own back? And I tell you what, when you have your own back, the universe is gonna reflect that back to you and the universe will have your back. And that's how it works because it's a reflection of you. So you have your own back and the universe will come along and align with that and begin to mirror to you, reflect to you those that it has your back. It's gonna to reflect to you exactly what you're doing, how you're being, what you're creating, okay? So try that out. Let me know how it goes. I know that's kind of a, a big assignment um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, um, you know, the idea that the universe doesn't have your back, that it's just um, a reflection of you. It's just, mis it's just you know, mirroring back. That, that all this time we've been thinking, I've been thinking the universe has my back when it only has my back if I have my back. So let me know what you think about that, okay? Leave me a comment down below. Please do share this YouTube video with your friends. Um, and uh, like it, of course. Uh, follow me here on YouTube. Um, if you're watching on the blog, leave a comment on the blog uh, and share the blog post. Um, if you don't know who I am, if it's your first video with me, uh, I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am a certified high performance coach, an author coach, an inspired results coach. I um, am on the journey to live a life that feeds my soul and I am teaching others how to do that as well. I, I'm walking that path with others. So if that interests you, then please click above uh, on the link. It might be over here. Click above on the link for to check out the Inspired Creator Community. That is where seekers go to learn how to live a life that feeds their soul. So I don't want you to have any regrets in your life. I want you to do your life's work. I want you to show up as the best version of yourself and, and feel as if you've achieved your potential, you've fulfilled your purpose, and you have filled your life with, with spirit, with meaning, with purpose. So if that's of interest to you, click above on the link. And uh, if you wanna work with me individually as a high performance coach, then uh, there's a link up above as well for high performance coaching and you can apply for a free session. 
So that's it for today. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. Go out there and achieve more inspired results by having your own back. Mm -hmm.